Hey guys, C Max signing in and welcome to another FIFA 17 video. But before I get into this, I just want to quickly thank you guys for helping me reach 18,000 subscribers. That's amazing. And also just want to really apologize for the past week, guys. I haven't really uploaded much. I've been ill. I've had so many technical issues with my console. I couldn't really record videos, but I did try. Nevertheless, I'm here with a video for you guys today. The squad builder. This team will not disappoint. So get your coins on the ready and prepare to buy this team. And with that said, let's actually get into the squad. Now today I actually decided to go with the CVR squad and the game is known as the Calcio A mainly because they didn't get licensed. I mean how are you not getting a license for the CVR? Nevertheless the team I've got for you today will cost you 25k coins if you buy the players I bought with the certain things I had on them as you're going to see soon. This team doesn't disappoint guys. This is a team that's been solid for me. I've been winning games with it, progressing through the divisions. And with that said let me know what divisions you are down in the comment section. I mean I'll be really interested to know. At the time I'm making this video I'm currently in Division 6, but I've been playing a lot of the journey, so you know I'm not as high as I could be. Formation wise, I decided to go for the 4 3 1 2 formation, which in my opinion is one of the best formations to actually use in this game. It's solid, allows you to do what you need to do, and starting us off as a keeper, we have Rain. Now, Rain isn't a bad keeper, 6 foot 2, so it's fairly tall, 80 diving, 83 reflectors. Looking at his card all round, his stats are good. I mean, he's got 50 speed, which isn't bad for a keeper, 84 positioning, which is what you want. And this guy hasn't really disappointed me in game. He's made a lot of saves that have pretty much saved my freaking life. Onto the right back who's got a right wing back card is Perez. Now he's pretty much the fastest right back, right wing back in the Serie A slash Calcio or whatever you want to call it. He's got 92 pace, 81 dribbling which is insane for a player playing in this position. 75 physical, 74 defending and yeah he's a good card to use. Onto our first centre back we have Rudiger. Now this guy cost me 1.8k coin. Now you guys might be like yeah it's probably a lot cheaper than that but the only reason he cost me that much is because i bought him with a shadow card and quick tip guys if you want to buy a shadow card for a defender don't do it separately it'll cost you a lot more coins find the defender you want a shadow card on and then search for him with a shadow card as i'll save you a hell of a lot of coins but back to rudiger the guy's got 77 pace 78 physical 76 defending might not seem like the best of defenders out there but he's six foot three with medium high work rates which is perfect next is koulibaly once again with the shadow card which is why it's cost me 4k coins but i've not regretted buying this guy he might have high high work rates but it doesn't really affect him that much in game he's six foot five so he's technically a giant 86 physical 82 defending this guy does not disappoint he's pretty much the definition of a beast in defense which is why i have him in the team and all my freaking days guys if you've not tried this guy with a shadow card you're missing out and on the left side we have our mayor i mean it's pretty much standard there's one of the fastest left backs you can actually get in the Serie A. i think the fastest you can actually get is van Gioni, but i think our mayor plays better so we've got him there he's got the 87 pace like i said 76 dribbling which isn't too bad and 74 physical our mayor's a pretty much standard left back he's not really too overpowered but it's enough to do what you need a left back to do if you get what i mean moving on to our center mid we have Barcelli. Now, I haven't actually been playing this card with an engine card on him. I've been playing using his basic card. I pretty much just added engine by accident whilst I was adding fitness to him before making this video. But nevertheless, Barcelli is a good player. Six foot, so he's tall in the midfield. 77 pace, 79 dribbling, 70 physical, and 80 passing. Key main stat you need to worry about with him is his passing, his pace, and his dribbling. And they're not too bad. So in game, he actually helps with the floor. The game allows your team to move forward. We've got Parolo on the other side, and Parolo is just something else guys long shots are out of this world i think it's got the highest long shot out of all the Serie A midfielders which is insane given the fact that you know it only goes for 3.2k coins Barolo is actually a gem to use i like using this card op 73 pace 76 defending all across this card he's got balanced stats as you can see there there's not one stat that's lower than 70 which is what i like to see i've actually been having a lot of fun using this guy and like barcelli creates chances and he's pretty much there when i need him to be now asamo is actually overpowered i mean look at his stats guys he's got 80 pace 82 dribbling 76 physical 71 defending 77 passing i mean all round his card is pretty much insane the only thing i would say is lacking in is high but apart from that is a good player to use and he hasn't really disappointed me much we have benega at the camp position probably the best camp i've used this game so far guys scores goals creates chances and he's just always there pretty much got perfect work rates for his position four style we 
eight foot four star skill moves he's got 85 passing so he can feed my strikers the balls 83 dribbling i mean this guy is what you're looking for when it comes to a camp onto our first striker we have niang 89 pace 82 dribbling he's six foot as well so he's got the height only go for 1.4k coins so he's definitely one to try out if you haven't tried him out before he's got the four star skills four star week four the only thing i would say he's lacking in is physicality he's not that strong but in game he can get through when you need him to next to him we have eder now a lot of people haven't really tried this guy out definitely give him a go i mean he's not too bad a goal for 950 coins so once again you're not really breaking the bank if you're buying him but if you've got a lot more coins and you're looking for an insane striker i would say go for backer he's obviously a bit more price here he might be around about 8k coins but backer is the guy you can use in replacement of eder but like i said if you're not looking to break the bank if you're looking for a cheaper op striker eder is the man for you now once again this is the full team as you guys can see it's not too bad it hasn't really disappointed me in the past games solid i've enjoyed using it going down to the bench we have muriel in here who i usually play in place of niang as you can see down the screen muriel and niang stats are pretty much very close niang's probably slightly better obviously as he is the higher rated player but i usually swap these two about because muriel does make movements in game all right guys i'm quickly gonna swap edda and niang obviously because niang's got the higher weak foot with that said i'm gonna jump into a game and let's show you guys what this team can do this is the team i'm playing so i want to watch morata looks like a full spanish team should be an interesting game let's see how this goes Benega now okay edda's through oh I, i'm sorry guys i have to i'm getting the goal there's no way i was passing up the opportunity to score edda sweats it to niang and it's one nil you just need to do what you need to do sometimes isn't it bang Benega, oh, he didn't run through. Can you shoot though? Oh, find the pass. Bring it back. Benega still there, looking for support. Now, smash it across net. Oh, right, okay, that was a decent attempt. I mean, the pass and play is working nicely. Oh no, we're in trouble. Julian Barlow will need you to step up your game. Oh, Reyno with a good save. Get that out. No, wow, we've conceded a header. I'm not gonna lie, guys, headers are like the worst things to concede. <laughs> Niang, oh, Renee, I don't know who that is, but oh, oh, yeah, across net. Come on, oh, wow, what a save! All right, oh, Amaro's there, get running, push out, cross it in. Bang! Oh! Camera just switched off, guys. I've just realized now. But yeah, what a shot from Niang. Niang, push through. Niang, cross net. There we go! Wow! Niang, when he wants, it can get through and score a goal. That's a good example right there. And it's 2 1. Fence, strength. Oh no! Oh, what a save! Get it out! Oh, Reina literally saved my life. Right, guys, it's half time. As you can see, I've got 65 ball possession. So I'm pretty much all over this guy in terms of possession. More shots on target, though. But, you know, I'm 2-1 in the lead. Game's going well so far. Let's keep it going well and jump into the second half. He's looking for support. Now, Niang, smash it. Bang. Oh, what a save. Now, Renega's there. Smash it. Oh, what a save. Now, bang. Niang. Pass it. Finish that, please. Oh, what a block. Parolo, long shot it. Oh, what a sweet goal from Marco Parolo. When I say this guy's the best long shot taking midfielder in the Serie A, that's what I'm talking about, guys. I mean, he picks his spot and just places it there. I mean, his Reina went for it, but he just couldn't get there. What a finish. No, 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 bring it back. Renega. Finesse. Oh, that would have been a nice play. Oh, what a game, guys. I mean, we've ended it 3 1. At the end, we pretty much destroyed the guy. He didn't really see much of the ball. Rating wise, Edda ended with a 9.4 rating with a man at the match. And both Niang and Benega were close. Niang with a 9.3 and Benega with a 9.2. A lot of the players performed well in that game, especially Parolo, who eventually went on to score that long shot you guys saw. Now, hopefully, that kind of showed you guys how good this team is. So if you're looking to build it, definitely give it a go. And if anyone's trying to actually build this team, there it is again, guys. Still 
looking as solid as it did at the start of the video definitely worth the 25k coins and just before i finish this video guys i just want to quickly show you the player instructions i was using on my players As you can see there with perez i didn't stay back while attacking same with pretty much all my center midfielders i mean that just makes it easier for my midfielders to stop going up as high mainly as most of them have high medium work rate but yeah that's the team for today if you enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like as that would be very much appreciated if we can hit 150 plus likes i'll bring you more overpowered squad builders subscribe if you are new and if you want to talk to me outside of youtube i'm on twitter instagram and snapchat all links are down in the description and for today this is T Max signing out thanks for watching guys and see ya I am the one, the way your son don't need a gun to get respect up on the street. Under the sun, the best.